I've got the compressor reinstalled. Everything's nice and tight. Uh, got those um, uh, unusual little bolts that I hadn't expected threaded back in, and then the, the nuts put back on. Uh, now I've got the, just a test to make sure that all that I've done is going to help. What I did is I hooked a compressor up to, um, to uh, the, the system, and then I ran the compressor. I got the vacuum. This is set up at about 20, it's about 20 PSI. I don't, it should be higher, but it's not the problem. What I want to do is just show that, that the vacuum is holding. So when I did this before I replaced the AC compressor, there was no vacuum. That, that um, dial went down to zero in a couple of seconds. So I knew there was a leak, and it was the, and I, I think I've con conclusively proven to myself that that was the, uh, the AC compressor that I've replaced. So now the system holds a vacuum, and what I'll do is vacuum this uh, for about half an hour. What it does is it sucks all the moisture and uh, just moisture basically out of the, the whole AC system and then you add the Freon back into the, uh, the vacuumed um, uh, system. This is loud so I'll, I'll try and speak up. What's going on over here? I've got a compressor. It's a very, uh, it's a 21 CFM compressor. It's just, just enough. That one down there is about 10. That wasn't strong enough to do what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I've got the air compression hose connected to a little vacuum pump down there. That that it's not mechanical at all. There's a venturi in there. If you're familiar with a carburetor venturi, it's just a tapered metal. It's a tapered tapered metal uh, chamber that, that that creates a vacuum. And what's happening is the air, compressed air, is flowing into this, and it's forcing it out through this this venturi chamber. And that creates a vacuum on one end of the venturi. That other end is connected into my uh, manifold gauge, which is the, the yellow, the yellow hose. And then I've got the uh, that is now the manifold uh, gauge is open, is connected to the, the blue line into the low pressure side of the AC, the red into the high pressure side. And what this is doing is creating a it's about a 29, 30 psi vacuum in the whole AC system. It's, it's basically sucking all the air out of the AC system. With that, it's sucking all the moisture out of the AC system. If you have water in the system, it reacts badly with the refrigerant, and I, I believe it freezes the water, and it gums up the system. Uh, there's water in there because um, the, the, if you have a leak like I did in my, in my AC compressor in my case, um, then the humidity, etc., gets into the system and, and whatever. And you can see this is the low side. The low side is at uh, 28, 29. That's sufficient to run my, my uh, air operated vacuum pump. The high side is just below zero. The low side is really the one you want to watch for the vacuum. I've had this on for a couple hours. Before you turn off the pressure on the compressor, you must shut down the, the valves. Then you can turn off the air compressor. We now have a vacuum set up uh, in the AC system. Um, it might not have come through too clearly when the compressor was on. If you turn the compressor off, then you lose the vacuum, right? Because you're then allowing, you know, there's no compression keeping the vacuum alive or, or intact. So if you turn the low and high side uh, valves shut, then you maintain integrity, the pressure from here through each of the, the red and uh, uh, and blue hoses into the system. So this is still open and we're gonna now, but but that's okay because these are these are shut. So the air cannot get through the yellow hose into the red and blue. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uncouple the, uh, uh, the vacuum pump from this. And I'm gonna start to put the refrigerant cans onto it. What I'm gonna do first, uh, when I do that, uh, you, you can imagine, the refrigerant is going to fill up the air hose as much as it can with whatever pressure is in the can, but there's going to be a lot of air that it's pushing up into this part. We don't want the air to flow into the the AC system, so there's a little uh, little Schrader valve up here, a little pin like a bicycle uh, valve. Uh, I depress that for, I don't know, five or ten, a couple seconds, and what that'll do is the force of the can pressure will push the air up and out through this little valve and then um, 
and then when I hear or smell a little refrigerant, I know that the, the line is then completely full of refrigerant, okay? So the little bit of refrigerant that escapes into the atmosphere, there's not much you can do about that. So the, the, your, your goal is to just have it be as little as, as, little as possible. When you're doing this, wear gloves, um, wear eyeglasses, and I would turn this off to the side. I wouldn't let any of that refrigerant get near, near uh, any part of your face. The front of your car is going to have a table like this. The key one for me is I have a 3.3 uh, liter engine. So the amount of R134 AC refrigerant is 0.68 kgs or 1.5 pounds. Uh, now I've got my cans of refrigerant over here. They are 134A. I know they are. It doesn't state it on there clearly, but if you look on here, net weight. 170 grams, four times 170 grams or 0.17 kgs is is 680 grams or 0.68 kgs, which is exactly what I need. So this system is empty right now. I'm not recharging it. So I know four of these cans exactly need to go into the AC system. Your compressor gauge set would have come with this attachment. So this is a little valve that turns, that screws in a pin. Um, in this fitting and what that will do is you attach this fitting onto the top of the can you turn the pin in by turning this this threaded valve and then the the refrigerant will then feed through the yellow um, up to up to here and there's a the little schrader valve I talked about before I'll set that uh, the cans usually say put them upside down uh, you can see the little arrow means that that's saying this this side up when charging um, I just touched the Schrader valve with, I've got a little Allen key, and it just took a quick burst and like just for a, a second and a little bit of refrigerant sprayed out. Like I, and it did come out quite a way. So as I said before, very important, do not look this in the eye. Do just, just like I did, I'd use a little valve like that so it doesn't get on your hands. Then you need to suck that uh, refrigerant into the system to start your car on the AC, put it on whatever setting you want, and then turn the uh, AC up to all the way. And that'll create, uh, that'll create a suction, an incoming suction into the AC system to suck the refrigerant out of the can. And you're gonna only suck into the blue low pressure side. That's very, very important. Don't let it get into the high pressure side. And the right way to do this is you twist this in, this, this threaded valve, twist it in, you won't hear or feel anything. Well, you, you'll feel a little bit of pressure and then it will suddenly just get easier to, to work. Twist it in and then uh, put it in all the way if you like and then back it out and release the, the take the pin out of the system and then, then that'll, that'll have created a, a, a connection between the can and the AC system. All right, this can is is, uh, is empty. I can't feel anything, as you would expect, because there's a, a, a pressure differential between this can and, and, or I guess this whole system in, in there. Um, this can's getting cold. Now, important, very important that to do this. Now, the AC uh, just just turned on. Which is good. When you remove the can, turn this off. You want to maintain the vacuum in the system and then also important once you remove that can it's got to go in the garbage don't if, even if there's some left don't use it because if you connect this to the system again you're gonna suck air because you've lost the vacuum that's after the second can so it looks like each can is supplying about seven psi of pressure so four cans will wind up being around uh, 30 psi on the low side, and that's exactly what uh, the, this, this uh, AC system is rated for. The high will end up uh, probably four times higher than the low, and that's getting there. Okay, I'm in the car, and it's nice and cold. That's just great. So the four cans, uh, and uh, that's it.